as you can see, users are already looking to Google to, get, to help them get things done. But we believe we are just getting started. We believe this is a long journey. And given it's a journey, we want to talk to you a little bit about the future. We want to show you the kind of things we aspire to be able to do. Well, let me do that with an example. Here's a common situation. It's Friday night. I'm sure many of you can relate to it. I'm back home, and I want to take my family to a movie. You know, you normally pull out your phone, research movies, look at the reviews, find shows nearby, and try to book a ticket. You know, we want to be there in these moments helping you. So you should be able to ask Google, what's playing tonight? And by the way, today, if you ask that question, we do return movie results, but we want to go a step further. We want to understand your context and maybe suggest three relevant movies which you would like nearby. I should be able to look at it and maybe tell Google we want to bring the kids this time. And then if that's the case, Google should refine the answer and suggest family-friendly options. And maybe even ask me, would you like four tickets to any of these? And if I say, sure, let's do Jungle Book, it should go ahead and get the tickets and have them ready waiting for me when I need it. As you can see, I engaged in a conversation with Google, and it helped me get things done in my context. And by the way, this is just one version of the conversation. This could have gone many, many different ways. For example, when Google returned the results, I could have asked, is Jungle Book any good? And Google could have given me the reviews and maybe even shown me a trailer. And by the way, I saw the movie, it's terrific, and hope you get to see it as well. <laughs> Every single conversation is different. Every single context is different. And we are working hard to do this for billions of conversation, for billions of users around the world, for everyone. We think of the assistant as an ambient experience that extends across devices. I think computing is poised to evolve beyond just phones. It'll be in the context of a user's daily life. It'll be on their phones, devices they wear, in their cars, and even in their living rooms. For example, if you're in one of the 100, 100 different Android Auto models, and you're driving, and you say, let's have curry tonight, we know the Warriors are on tonight, and Steph Curry is playing, but you know all you're looking for is food, and we should be smart, order that food, and let you know when it is ready, and maybe even have it waiting for you at your home. Talking about your home, we've already built many, many products for your home. Today, we have sold over 25 million Chromecast devices. So we've been thinking hard about how to bring this vision of Google Assistant into your home. Credit to the team at Amazon for creating a lot of excitement in this space. We've been thinking about our own unique approach, and we are getting ready to launch something later this year. To give you a preview, I'm going to invite Mario from the Chromecast team. Thanks, Sundar. Today we want to give you an early preview of how we're bringing the Google Assistant to the home. Our aspiration is to make the Assistant useful and enjoyable in one of the most important places in your world, where you spend time with your family. When I walk into my house, I want to be able to continue to have access to the Google Assistant, but I should be able to interact with it in a hands-free way, simply using my voice without having to take out my phone. This is why we're creating Google Home, a device which will be available later this year. Google Home lets you enjoy music and entertainment throughout your entire house, manage everyday tasks more easily, and ask Google what you want to know. All of this will be done by speaking with the assistant. It will let anyone in the family, kids or adults, have a conversation with Google. 
Google Home is unmatched in far field voice recognition since it's powered by more than 10 years of innovation in natural language processing. I can continue the two way dialogue with the assistant that Sundar mentioned earlier, whether I'm standing nearby cooking dinner or sitting across the room playing a game with my daughter. With Google Home, we set out to create and design a beautiful product that's warm and inviting and fits naturally in many areas of the home. We're designing the top to blend into your home. We'll give you the option to customize the base with different colors and finishes, including metal and fabric, to reflect your home style, whether it be in the living room, the kitchen, or the bedroom. We're putting a lot of craftsmanship into the hardware design. Including the LEDs placement and choreography, the speaker that's going to fill the room you're in with music, the microphone system, and the clean face without any buttons. This is Google Home. We think it'll be a beautiful addition. To any room in your house. And we're even more excited about what it's going to do for you. First, music and entertainment are a big part of what makes being at home relaxing and fun. Not long ago, we introduced Chromecast, designed to play your favorite shows, movies, and YouTube videos on the biggest screen in your house. Last year, we added Chromecast Audio to bring the music you love to your best speakers. Chromecast has been one of the hottest selling consumer electronics products since the day it launched. And Google Home will build on those experiences. Google Home is a Wi Fi speaker that streams music directly from the cloud so you get the highest quality playback. It will deliver rich bass and clear highs. All from a beautiful compact form factor. Of course, you can access songs, playlists, albums, artists, and podcasts from your favorite music services just by asking with your voice. Or if you prefer, you can send music from your Android or iOS device、uh, to, to, through Google Cast. And unlike other home assistants, Google Cast support allows you to control other speakers in your home without complicated setup. So, when you want to listen to Coldplay in the living room speak, on the living room speakers, you can simply say, Play Viva la Vida in the living room, and it'll start playing. Cast support also enables multi room playback. So, that you can add one or more Google Home devices to a group of speakers and really blast. Your favorite tunes. And it lets you control your video content too. Let's say that you want to watch that episode of Jimmy Kimmel or the trendy YouTube video on your TV. Just tell Google Home and the content will appear on the biggest, brightest screen in your house. Next, Google Home will become more and more of a control center for your whole home. Home is where lots of daily tasks just need to get done. Having access to the Google Assistant makes this a lot easier. It's like having a voice activated remote control to the real world whenever you need it. You can do the basics, like setting alarms and timers, or managing to do lists and shopping lists. We're also designing Google Home to connect your smart home seamlessly. It will support the most popular home networking systems. So, that you can easily control your lights, thermostats, switches, and more, including our own Nest devices. Further in the future, we'll work with developers to make it possible to control things beyond the home, like booking a car, ordering dinner, or sending flowers to mom, and much, much more, all with just your voice. Third, Google Home lets you ask Google. About anything you want to know. Of course, you can get the basics like the weather or facts that you might find on Wikipedia. But what makes Google Home really shine is that it has search built in. 
It draws on 17 years of innovation in organizing the world's information to answer questions which are difficult for other assistants to handle. You might ask, how much fat is in an avocado? Or, what is Draymond Green's jersey number? And then follow up that last question with, where did he go to college? Or try something more complex. What was the US population when NASA was established? You will get immediate, accurate answers from Google each time. And the Google Assistant not only knows a lot about the world, but it will stand apart in how it can also get to know you over time, with your permission, of course. It can help you retrieve your travel itinerary, your daily schedule, your traffic to work, your package delivery information, and much more. And as Google keeps getting better, so will Google Home. So that's Google Home, a beautiful, smart, voice-enabled assistant for the whole family. Enjoy music and entertainment throughout your entire house. Manage everyday tasks effortlessly and ask Google what you want to know. It's early days, but we want to give you and show you how we envision uh, the Google Assistant coming to life at home. We created a short video to bring the product into a family setting to capture what it might be like in the future to have your personal Google around the house. Let's roll the video. OK, Google, play the morning playlist. OK, playing morning playlist. OK, Google, play music in all rooms. OK, Google, I'm listening. Your flight to Portland is delayed by 30 minutes. Change my dinner reservation tonight from 7.30 to 8. Your reservation at Andina is now confirmed for 8 p.m. Hey Google, text Louise. Flight is delayed. Dinner moved to 8. OK, message sent. Morning. Morning. Hey Google, turn the lights on in Kevin's room. I thought you finished that already. Um, I forgot. OK, Google, what's apples in Spanish? Manzanas. Hey, Google, has my package shipped? Yes, it's already shipped. It'll arrive tomorrow. Ooh, is that for me? Maybe. Interesting. OK, Google, how many stars are in our galaxy? Well, there are about 100 to 400 billion stars, according to space.com. Which star is the closest? According to NASA, the nearest star system is Alpha Centauri. Can you show me what it looks like on the TV? Okay, Google, how's the traffic from Pebble Rock School to the airport? Your normal route has heavy traffic. There's a faster one that'll take about 35 minutes. I've sent it to your phone. Okay. Let's go! Dad! Hey, Google? What's on the calendar today? The first event is Space Day at Kevin's school. It starts at 8 a.m. Space Day. Are you ready, buddy? Ready. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Google. Bye. Goodbye. 